Bank in South Carolina. You have to understand that after World War II in this country, when we came back to putting the country back together, we had a lot of things that went along with um, things like departments of health and human services that we didn't have before the war and all these wonderful strides in departments of education. And where I'm from in South Carolina, you can laugh all you want. My mother went to court to see to it that people under the age of 13 couldn't get married, okay? And things like that happened in this country up to a very short period of time ago. It's just people get out and give a damn and that's what happens when things change. So there you go. So the whole thing was that I kind of came up in this weird environment and uh, I came up in the police station as my my, uh, some of the guys and they were my first babysitters and so we had this kind of idyllic little lifestyle and then we moved on up to Washington somewhere along the way and what happened was when I was growing up there I was fascinated with professional wrestling because you were these big men with blonde hair that did all the things you weren't supposed to you know like we were te yeah. taught about sportsmanship and all that and these guys would kick the good guy and do all that stuff and I thought it was just fabulous I loved it and, uh, and then there was gospel music and I, I, I just I always loved I grew up with gospel and I always loved that that little thing that goes along with it that so years later, um, as the psychedelic era entered, and it was in about 1960, let's see, I was in 7th, 8th, ninth grade when I took acid for the first time. Oh my God. True story, I'm just telling you about my life. I took LSD and I went to a rock concert. I think I went to see 10 years after. But I remember looking up when I started peeking, getting off, and I saw Porter Wagner with eight arms, like a, a, a Shiva kind of thing. And then I saw this thing. I started. A friend of mine started saying, you ever think about good and evil? And I started seeing a wrestling match between Jesus. I'm not kidding, okay? I believe you. Laugh if you want. Anyway, I'm going, well, maybe you understand the same thing or you have the same vision. Anyway, exactly. So I'm just telling you, so I saw this struggle with good and evil is like Jesus and the devil. And years later, when I started writing songs, I wanted to write a song about kind of my spirituality. And this is a song called Sleeper Hold on Satan and the Body Slam on Sin. Now, you can laugh at this, but there was an eighth grade uh, Church of the Nazarene class in Charleston, West Virginia that thought this was one of the coolest songs they'd ever heard. And I heard they were going to do a video of this, but I lost contact with them. There was a Christian station in... Uh, outside of Jackson, Tennessee, that this was their number one hit for about three weeks. Wow. So I hope y'all like it. It's one of my favorites. It goes like this. We got that sleeper hold on Satan and the body slam on sin. I thought my life was counted out, but then Jesus tagged on in. Now the devil is fading fast with a heavenly arm locked under the chin. Sleeper hold on Satan and the body slam on sin. Yeah, when I was a little girl, mama was full of information. She said, life is one big wrestling match and there's no disqualification. The devil is a dirty wrestler, using every trick he's got. Your soul is like that title belt, and he wants to get him a shot. And when he gets you in that ring, buddy, you better won't be no fake. He'll come back to you from every angle he can, every cheap shot he'll take. He'll use that foreign object, he'll grab you by the hair. Be sure to guard down below the belt, cause he loves to nail you down there. You got the sleeper, hold on Satan, and the body slam on sin. I thought my life was counted out, but then Jesus tagged on in. Now the devil is fading fast with a heavenly arm locked under the chin. Sleeper, hold on Satan, and the body slam on sin. Sign him on the piano. Sisters, hamsters, and drums and heavy equipment operators in the greater Rivard County, Florida, which is where I know to do this routine area. This is yours truly, Reverend Billy Words and friends. I want to talk to you for a minute. Because you know, friends, is I've been out on the road for a long time. As a matter of fact, right before I got on this blues cruise, I found myself once again at the age of 59 all by myself out there on that road. I found myself late one night. Now relatively free of all those bad stimulants I used to put in my body, having a little trouble falling asleep in the Hampton Inn outside of Yemisee, South Carolina. I remember turning on the late night channel, which you used to have to pay five bucks an hour for, but now they're free when you check in. <laughs> I find myself looking at things saying, Reverend Billy, you're too tired, you're too old. But yes, friends, I felt temptation close at hand, trouble close in mind. I fell asleep with trouble close at hand, and I dreamed that they were portraying my soul as a championship match on a Sunday morning to wrestling. They were interviewing the devil, and the devil was saying this. He was saying, you know, Billy Wirtz, you're the last in a long line of mortals that have tried to get away from me. There was Jimmy Baker, there was Jimmy Swagger, and all those others. And you, uh, you little red-headed geek, you're next. I'm going to beat you, I'm going to humiliate you, I'm going to put you in the Lucifer leg lock, I'm going to put you in the 666 drop kick, the fires of Hellerstoke, and you're going to burn. <laughs> Yeah.
I woke up and I was real scared. And I heard a gentle voice say, Billy! Which is good because when I wake up hearing gentle voices saying, Debbie! That's another song. Y'all got real quiet, didn't you? You're like, this ain't a joke. Well, I woke up and a gentle voice said, Billy, Jesus is the champion in life's eternal old bout. He's been there for the little ones, for the big one, he'll help you out. See, the prayers are just like push-ups in the glorious heavenly gym. And when your soul gets on the ropes, tag it right on in. When you got that sleeper hold on Satan, and the body slam on sin. I thought that life was counted out, but then Jesus tagged on in. Now the devil is fading fast, every arm locked under that chair. Sleeper hold on Satan, and the body slam, body slam, body slam on sin. Still champion Jesus! Yeah.